Hello. In this lesson, we are going to cover what are you expect to learn in this course lessons. Before we discuss the topics that we will cover, we are going to go over some basic terminology used in SOLIDWORKS and design industry in general. First, SOLIDWORKS is a based solid modeler and utilizes a parametric feature-based approach to create parts and assemblies. What I mean by a parametric feature-based approach? The key word is parametric or parameters. Parameters refer to the constraints whose value determine a shape or a geometry of a part or an assembly. Parameters can be either a numeric parameters such as a length of a line or a diameter of a circle or geometric parameters such as a tangent, tangent, parallel, concentric, horizontal, or vertical. Numeric parameters can be associated with each other for use of the relations which allows them to capture the design intent. So, what is design intent? Design intent is how the design of the part wants the part to respond to changes and updates. Let's begin talking about what we are going to cover in th this lessons. Building a, a model in SOLIDWORKS usually starts with a 2D sketch or the 3D sketch available for the powerful users. The sketches consist of geometry such as points, lines and arcs. As you create a sketch, geometric relations are added automatically to the sketch such as tangency, parallelism, perpendicularly, and concentricity. If needed, you can also add geometric relations manually. After the geometric relations are added, dimensions are then added to the sketch to define the size and location of the geometry. The dimensions in the sketch can be controlled independently or by relationships to other parameters inside or outside of the sketch. The parametric nature that SOLIDWORKS means in dimensions and relations drive the geometry, not the other way around. In sketch lessons, we will cover many, if not most, sketch tools from lines, circles, arcs, all the way to sketch patterns and repairing sketch problems. We will also cover good sound sketch practices. So, when you complete the lessons for basic and intermediate sketches, you will have a good foundation to build from. The next major area we will cover is part creation and 3D features. After the sketch is completed, we will then utilize the properly feature to give us the desired result. Features are the building blocks of the part. They are the shape operation that construct the part. Features begin typically with 2D or 3D sketches of shapes such as bosses, holes, and slots. The shape then extruded or cut to add or remove some material from the part. Some features like fillet, chamfer, and shells don't require a sketch and can be applied directly to existing features. We will cover basic features commands all the way to intermediate features. We have also many lessons testing you newly acquired skills. After we conclude the discussion, in features and part creation, we will move on to assemblies. And as in an assembly, we apply the similar relations that we apply when we create sketches. However, we call these relations mates. Just as sketch relations define conditions such as tangency, parallelism, and concentricity respect sketch geometry, assembly mates define equivalent relations with respect individual parts or components. 
in assembly lessons, we will cover all the standard mates along with intermediate assembly techniques. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to su support me with like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.